Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today is going to be another declutter video. And as you can see, this is going to be my eyeshadow quads, um, trios, any duos that I might have. Um, and then even some, I don't know if you maybe you would consider them eyeshadow palettes that I forgot in my last declutter video. Anyway, so let's kind of get started and show you what I'm taking out of my collection. Um, first, we'll start with these little guys here. These are from um, Flower Beauty. Um, there's four of these. These are sold at Walmart. And again, it's just products that I don't use. So I am going to put those into the, um, the giveaway box that my daughter, my daughter's hosting a giveaway party. And it seems like our um, ladies that are coming is growing because she's invited some ladies from school, some teachers. So we've got quite a few people coming and they're gonna bring makeup that they wanna get rid of and we're just gonna have a giant makeup swap. And then I have these little palettes here from Physicians Formula. Oh gosh, what are these called? Quartz Quartet and the Canon Classic Quartet. Bought these because um, people were talking about these a lot on YouTube and I just never used them so those are going. A Paula Dorf eyeshadow palette or quad that I bought at Marshalls. Again, used it a few times and then that was the end of that. <laughs> Then I have a couple of um, duos. Oh gosh, I don't, I'm not liking the way that's looking. Because it doesn't look like y'all can see it very good. Anyway, I have a couple of duos here from Hard Candy. These came from Walmart. Again, I'm just not using them. So we're going to be tossing those. Let me come up here a little closer. This right here is a Kardashian palette. Kardashian Beauty. And this was from Ulta a long time ago. And I was hanging on to it because I really liked this highlighter. But I never reached for it. So there's no point in keeping that. So that's gone. What is that? Huh, a little screw. wonder what that came off of. Don't know. And then this is a, um, oh. Elizabeth Arden. Yeah, Elizabeth Arden. I bought this on a Vegas trip at the Elizabeth Arden outlet store and it was really, really pretty. But um, once I started using it, it just wasn't working out for me. So once again, going in the pile. Then here is a, a quad from Revlon, a color stay. I've had this for a really long time. And I think the packaging has even changed on these, so that probably tells you how long those old that is. Then a Jane eyeshadow palette, and it has a blush. Again, this was something that was talked about, you know, on YouTube, and got in on the hype of it, and never used. Then I have these two eyeshadow palettes here. These were purchased off a of Hot Look, and it's the eyes by design and again just just never use them they're really pretty but i have these colors in probably a ton of eyeshadow palettes that i'm actually keeping <sighs> a cargo eyeshadow palette again i think this was bought was this bought off a, it was either bought off a hot look or on clearance at ulta i can't remember um Tarantino, Tara, how do you say this? Tarina Tarantino. There we go. Another Holt Look purchase. I tell you what, that Holt Look gets me all the time because, you know, their products are so cheap that I just go hog wild, but I can't get that back open. But anyway, that's gone. This was a Estee Lauder um, gift with purchase, I think, or purchase with purchase. Just never use. And it was a Michael Kors edition. I can even, this is probably 
five or six years old, probably even older than that. Here's the Laura Geller um, Baked Eyeshadows, and I'm pretty sure this was another Hot Look haul purchase, so getting rid of that. This guy right here, now this is a really, really pretty quad, and if you're wanting something that is really pretty and is very inexpensive, this is from Avon. And this actually looks really pretty on. I just don't ever wear it, but it's the warm, the warm sunshine. You're probably not going to be able to see that. But, um, did that start to focus? Mm, probably not. Anyway, that's really pretty. But again, I just don't reach for it because I have those colors in some of my eyeshadow palettes that I'm keeping. This is from Buxom. Um, this, I just, Again, I just don't reach for it. And I definitely am not going to use this really sparkly color here. So that is going away. Pull up here closer again. Um, this is a little nine pan. Um, this is from Mark, which is a brand of Avon. Again, I just never used it. So we're going to go ahead and pass that on. A couple of... Um, Rimmel eyeshadows right here from Rimmel. And then all of this here, including this guy right here, if I can reach it. All of this is from Clinique, and this all was gift with purchase, pretty much, except for this one right here. This was an actual, was this a gift with purchase, or was this a purchase with purchase? I can't remember holiday compact it might have been just a purchase anyway getting rid of all these this one I've had forever I mean it still even has a little paper on it but I've had this guy for a very long time so getting rid of those as I just again just don't reach for them and I'm to the point where I just want to really just downsize my makeup collection it's it's time to be done. Hang on. I was going to show you what that little long comb palette looked like if I can, but I can't get it open. Oh, I really debated on keeping this because it's really pretty, but again, I know I have these colors um, in some palettes that I'm keeping that are a little bit higher end, so. Anyway, so that is it. I feel pretty good about um, this declutter. Once again, I mean, that's quite a bit of stuff if you just pile it all up like that. Yeah, it's quite a bit of just the single, or not the singles, but the quads and trios, um, quints, that type thing that I had. Now, next, I think I'll be doing the, um, the eyeshadow singles, and that is quite a bit quite a bit that I have yeah I have a lot of eyeshadow singles and that'll be on the next declutter I'm doing these in little anyway so let um let me start with let me take these down okay let's start with this little tray here and in it let's see I think I keep poking what I have here are just a couple of Pixie single eyeshadows that I purchased at Target. I'm pretty sure they were on clearance and just hauled them, maybe used them a couple times and haven't touched them since. Same way with this L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadow and I think this one is called Bronzed Taupe and going to get rid of it. I just never use it. Then all of these right there are pure cosmetic um, eyeshadow singles. I think this is when they were called pure minerals and they're all like pressed mineral eyeshadows. I purchased all those on a sale. Um, I can't remember where but anyway after I bought them I just never use them. And then I have two Ulta eyeshadows um this little white one here and then this one here this one has been floating between my daughter and i for probably like five years um anyway so that's going away 
Then in this box right here are all the Milani single eyeshadows. Um, yeah. Gosh, what were these called? The Bella ones, I think. Weren't these the Bella ones? Yeah. And once again, I just never reached for them. I purchased all of them when they first came out because everybody on YouTube was talking about them. So, but they do not get used. So we're doing away with those. All of these, my friends, are the Bare Minerals Loose Pigment Eyeshadows, um, like Bare Minerals always used to do when they first started. Um, those, all of these are from numerous kits purchased through QVC, like, you know, today's special values, get on auto delivery, that type thing. And I have actually have already gotten rid of a lot of my minerals here but this is what's left and I'm gonna go ahead and just let them go I never never reach for them I used to this was the only thing that I ever wore and um, I probably haven't opened one of these up to use them in probably over six years so we're gonna take them out and get rid of those And then the last little container here is just a various different brands. I have a one for Maui. Again, just I just I never reach for single eyeshadows. I don't know why I even buy them because I never ever reach for them. And these right here I just recently purchased, and this is what this um, was from Kiko. And again, just I'm not. I know I'm not going to use them, so I'm just going to pass them on. These are from Elizabeth Arden. Uh, again, these were bought when we went to on a Vegas trip and um, at the outlet. And again, just never use them. I know I've had these for like four years and haven't even touched them. Then these right here are some e.l.f. little smudge pots that I bought. And again, just don't use them. And I know they're going to start drying up, so we might as well pass them along couple other of um, cream type eyeshadows from Flower Beauty. There's a green one and a bronze one. Again, just don't use them. So we're passing those on. Have an e.l.f. single eyeshadow here. And then this here, this is a MAC loose pigment, but I bought this at a flea market up in Wisconsin. Or Illinois one of them places anyway I'm, and I'm almost for certain this is not even a real Mac item but I'm gonna pass it on to those girls and then um, some single long comb eyeshadows again I bought these at the outlet and in Vegas and just never use them so I'm getting rid of those and then this right here is an eyeshadow base from Bare Minerals and it is it's old it's goopy it I don't even think it squeezes out so this is actually going in the trash so that is it for the single eyeshadow declutter that I'm getting rid of um, again I feel really good about the amount of product that I am taking out of my collection under this category and letting it go to people that are going to use it instead of it just sitting and growing mold and going bad. But anyways, thank you so much for um, joining me on this journey, this declutter journey. I do appreciate it and we'll talk to you soon.